Hi, and welcome to Credential Manager. My name is Michael Blair, and I'm the founder for Credential Manager. And today I'm going to be talking about some of the benefits of using Credential Manager and how it can help you to centralize all of your credentials with respect to the websites that you're visiting. And I'm not just talking about usernames and passwords. I'm talking about links. I'm talking about email associations. I'm talking about HTML snippets or banner type codes that you can embed into the websites that you're promoting. I'm also talking about alternatives for logins so that you can get where you want to go when you want to get there, knowing the information that you need to know to get you logged in. Here's exactly what I mean by what I just said. In Credential Manager, you have all of your activations stored on a single page. By activations, I'm referring to the websites that you've added to your Credential Manager. And inside of Credential Manager, in, on the activations page, you have all of your websites that you have stored. Right now, I have 19 services activated for this particular account that I'm using for this demonstration. Now, before getting to this service to one-on-one -on -one domains, let's say I wanted to log into one-on-one -on -one domains, but I don't know what the username and password is, I can just click on that show button, and now notice that inside the pull down, I see the user and the password being displayed to me for that particular activation. So that means that before I even go there, I know what the username and password is in case the browser doesn't bring it up for me. And so in order to get there, you just click on the login button. The login button is this little right arrow, and it'll even give you the tooltip saying login. Just click on it, and that'll take you right to the control panel, login, and you can put in your customer ID and your password for this particular uh, domain. The other uh, thing that I want to let you know about, which is kind of cool, is that we give you an extra link that you can associate with any website that you have activated. And what I'm referring to is called the Start Page link. And I'm going to click on the Display button inside here so you can see it. For for one-on-one -on -one domains, I happen to be a Commission Junction affiliate so that I can refer one-on-one -on -one domains to other people and make money on it. And so in order to, to be able to log into that area for one-on-one -on -one domains, I have it configured to go to uh, Commission Junction just by clicking on the Start Page button that I have configured inside of my one-on-one -on -one domains record. See where it says Start Page link? It says HTTPS uh, CJ.com. So that if I click on that, it'll take me to, to Commission Junction uh, instead of one-on-one -on -one domains. And I just click on highlight the login button and I have my login information in front of me and I can log in. So it's very convenient. And that's one of the, the benefits the credential manager is that we actually can give you a way to separate the logins for a single activation. There's also another thing that you can do. Uh, you can you can see here that I have Amazon affiliates and Amazon store. Those are two different uh, uh, activations, and the reason being is because the Amazon affiliates area is different than the Amazon store, not only for login, but for also for access. So as an example, let's say I wanted to go to Amazon affiliates and I wanted to log in because I wanted to get a banner code or something uh, from my Amazon affiliates area, or I wanted to get a promotional link for uh, my Amazon store. And so it takes you to the Amazon associates area and you have a login button right there that you can use. Uh, if I wanted to go to the Amazon store itself, I just go to the here Amazon store, and Amazon store is now, I can now click on the login button, and it'll take me to the Amazon website. Not the affiliates area, but the Amazon website itself so that I can go to the to the sign-in page 
and I can just click on sign in and that'll take me right to the to the to the sign in page of my Amazon store. And so this kind of shows you a couple of different ways that you can use Credential Manager for that all important login process. Also, too, we have a lot of, of, of restaurants, national chain restaurants associated with Credential Manager so that if you wanted to see what the, the, the menu is for Denny's, then you just highlight Denny's, bring it into your, your uh, Credential Manager, click on the login button, and it'll take you right to the main page so that you can find out what's cooking at Denny's. Or any other any of the other fifty to sixty national food chains that are inside of Credential Manager, and uh, you can also uh, go to to eBay or to your GoDaddy domains or your Google or your Google AdSense. We have Google uh, split up as well, so that if you want to go to Google, you can go to Google. But if you wanted to go to your AdSense account, then we have a split up for Google AdSense. We also have Google AdWords and all of the different Google areas uh, actually separated, and that's primarily for the login process. So if I were to click on the login button, it'll take me right into my Google AdSense account, and which is pretty cool because that way you don't have to try and figure out you know where the different Google areas are and have them configured separately under your under your uh, your your favorites but you can use credential manager to take you right into your google adsense account and this is my google adsense account uh, and it does the same thing for google adwords and google hangouts and all of the other different google areas uh, also if you are using a, a, a product like jotform uh, which i use quite a bit uh, Jotform is a way of, of creating forms. Uh, you can click on the login button and it'll take you right to the to my forms. And you can click on the login button and you'll see that the little login pop up will pop up and you can get right to your account. So you can see that it's pretty pretty darn convenient. All of these websites that I have configured will go directly to the login button or to the landing page so that you can get to the login pop-up that's available for that particular website. One of the other things that's kind of cool about Credential Manager is this display button right here. Uh, I click on the display button and what that will do is it'll actually display the record uh, for my for my uh, login you see my username is user my password uh, you see a referral URL if it had a referring process the email that can so that you know what email you have associated with the account if you're promoting banners or have any kind of embed code associated with the website, and then the almighty who is information is loc is on every single website that we have inside of Credential Manager. And the reason why that's important is because not only will you see the domain name and the IP and the, the main registrar, but you're gonna see the actual date that this domain was created. So JotForm was created on the 9th of November, 2005. Uh, also, you see the domain registrar. Now, not that JotForm would ever do this, but let's say that the website that you're that you're dealing with is spamming you. Well, guess what? You can go to the domain registrar. In this case, it would be two cows. So you could go to twocows.com, and you could find their complaint department on from the landing page and send them a message and say, you know what, jotform.com is spamming me. And guess what? These domain registrars, they take spam complaints very seriously. And so the domain that's spamming you is actually in jeopardizing, is actually uh, in jeopardy 
of having their domain being closed down by the domain registrar if they start to get too many complaints for spam. And so it, the, knowing who the registrar is can be pretty darn important. Also, uh, you can see uh, possibly where they're located if they're displaying that information or even their phone number so you can give JotForm a call and see and, and ask them specific questions if they don't have their phone number listed on their website. So the who is information is pretty important and it gives you a way whereby you can actually have more information on the website that you're dealing with. And that information is on every single website inside the database uh, and that you have activated. You also have a, a way whereby you can get to a game site. So I play a lot of chess. And so I go to chess.com uh, pretty regularly to play chess. And this gives me a way to get there very quickly. Just by clicking on the login button, it'll take me to my chess, my chess area. And as you can see here, I have my username and my password right here in front of me. Now I can hide that just by clicking on the hide button and it'll go away. And you'll notice that when I click on the, 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 the drop down, it's gone away for all of the websites that I have uh, activated for this account. So I could either elect to show that information or I can elect to hide that information if I have someone looking o over my shoulder. Sometimes it takes a couple of seconds uh, for the hide button or the show button to, to activate. Now, the, there are a couple of other buttons here that you can be dealing with. Uh, one of them is the visit site. If you just want to visit the site, then you can just by clicking on the visit site and that'll take you to the top referral URL for this, for this website. You also can favorite this site. And what I mean by that is you can make it a favorite so that when you go to your favorites link or your favorites page, that website will be on your favorites page. And the way that you know it's favorited is that you'll notice that I clicked on it and the heart filled in. If I click on it again, the heart goes blank and that means it's unfavorited. So if I click on the heart and it's, it's, it's colored, well, that means that it's now a favorite and it'll be in my favorites page. And you can do that with any and all of your websites. Let's say you go to the Amazon store a lot and you just want to use your favorites page to get you to the websites that you're going to on a daily basis. And so you just click on that heart and that'll, that'll make it so it's now a favorite. Should be, it'll be on your favorites page. So I'm hoping that you'll get the idea that there's really a lot that you can do with Credential Manager and it gives you an excellent resource for recovering all of the information that you have associated with your, with your, with your, uh, the websites that you're util utilizing, including, including the banner and embed code. And the banner and embed code is, is also pretty darn important, especially for websites that you're promoting or that you're an affiliate of and you want to embed that, that banner code. This keeps you from having to log into that affiliate area and find the banner code and copy it and then paste it because you know you've already done it here. Again, you have a centralized location for all of the information that you're having stored for the websites that you're using and you can create as many banner codes for each website as you want. You can create as many usernames and passwords as you want. Just by clicking on the edit button, you can see that I have two logins here. And if I wanted to create a third login, I just click on that plus button. You'll see that I have two referral URLs. If I wanted to add another link, any link, doesn't have to be an affiliate link. It could be a blog link. It could be a social link. It could be any link that you want to put that you're having associated with the website. 
that you're dealing with at the time. Uh, and if you want to add another uh, banner code, you have the same option by clicking on the plus button. If you want to add another email, you have the same option by clicking on the plus, bu the plus button inside of your Amazon affiliates or whatever website you're editing. And you use the edit button to do that with. Also, the, one of the last things I want to show you is that you do have a notes section. For the website that you're dealing with, you just key in whatever note you want, and then you, you click on the display button, and that note will be there waiting for you. And it's pretty large. You can, I don't know if you can write a novel in there, but you do have a lot of characters that you can create. So you can have a very large note section for every single website that you're dealing with. Well, listen, I want to thank you for visiting with Prudential Manager today. And I hope that this recording has given you some insight as to how you can best use this product and how you can have a real solid credential management solution that's cloud-based, internet-based, that you can use any device to get to, whether it's your desktop, your laptop, your tablet, or even your phone, you can use them to get access to whatever credentials you want to have access to at the time and place from anywhere in the world. And so it's a very powerful yet simple and easy to use product that you can use for tracking and recovering your credentials.